Hey, Frank Prendergast here from MySite.actor and I have a couple of tips for you on optimizing images for your website. These should be uh, useful to you whether you're on MySite.actor or pretty much any other website platform because um, basically it's just about getting your image file sizes down uh, small enough so that your website loads really quickly when people visit it. Simplest way to um, show you is just use an example. So I have an image here taken by a professional photographer. Um, so it's 5,000 pixels wide and over 3,000 pixels deep. And it is at a resolution of 300 dots per inch, which is perfect for print, but results in a file size that's way too big for my website and would slow it away down. It's over 6.4 megabytes in size. Uh, if those figures and terms went over your head, don't worry about it. Um, I'm just going to show you the tools you need to check all your images before you upload them to your website, basically. The first thing I recommend is going to pixlr.com. It's a free online image editor, so you don't need any software. Uh, you just need a browser and an internet connection. So go to pixlr.com. Click on the Try Photo Editor button, open up the image you want to uh, optimize, and straight away pixlr.com uh, recognizes that the image that I'm trying to upload is very large and it is recommending resizing options for me. So I'm going to keep it really simple and say just go with the default option here of full HD which is a maximum of 1920 pixels wide. In my opinion this is plenty big enough um, for pretty much any website um, even if you're using your images um, at uh, full screen across your, your website. I think this is plenty big enough so I would just use this. Um, so we click OK and Pixlr has automatically resized the image for me. One thing to be aware of is if your image uh, isn't starting out as quite as large as mine was, then you might not get that um, automatic resize option. Uh, in which case, you just come over here to the tools. Now there's loads of tools in Pixlr.com. I'm not going to go through them all, but there's all kinds of tools there for cropping and colouring and everything. So it's well worth exploring. But we'll just deal with resizing at the moment and if you need to do that, just click on the first tool on the left here. That will open up these options here, including one for resize image. That will open up a dialog box that allows you to choose what size you want your image at. So you would just type in 1920 into this box. That's all you have to do. It'll automatically do the height because constraint proportions will automatically be on here and you just click apply. Once that's done, you just save the image to your computer. I'm gonna rename it here to resized. And you can leave the uh, rest of the settings as they are. I'm going to leave it on the default of high quality here. That will give us a still quite large file size of uh, 324k, but we will uh, deal with that in step two. So we will download that, save, perfect. So now we can go to step two, which is another website called tinyjpeg.com. That's T-I-N-Y, sorry, T-I-N-Y-J-P-G.com. And we'll open up the image that I, the resized image that I just downloaded there. And that will take it from 331.5K right down to 138.1K. So it's a saving of 58%, uh, which is brilliant. So we download that. And that is the image that you would upload to your website. So we've gone from an image size of over uh, six megabytes right down to a file size of 138.1K. So that is going to load really quickly on your website. So I hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching and good luck optimizing your images. Cheers.